Now, this is the second part, all right? The first part ended abruptly when somebody hit the stop button. Now, I won't name any names, but it's the guy behind the camera over there, right? Right? Right. Okay, so you have to measure the length between uh, the center of this pole, this rod, and 12 o'clock on here, okay? You also have to measure the entire length of the string, which means you have to get all the knots out of the string. It's a real pain. Yes, I know, but I don't have to do it, so I don't think it's all that big a deal. Then you have to take the string, and you go over to that cabinet over there. See that cabinet? If you open one of those doors, you'll find a, ma uh, a uh, scale that's really accurate. You measure the mass of the, of the string. Okay, so we got that, we got that. You can figure out, you have the big length, the mass, you can figure out the, the linear density, and you can figure out that length there. Now, the thing that people have a hard time with is, why don't you come on over here? Come on. You see, you set the amplitude here to about noon. And what you're going to do is you're going to set, and this is probably not going to come out too well on this video, by the way. Sorry. But what you do is you adjust the frequency until you get what's called a standing wave. Now, we're going to get, the first one we're going to get is a standing wave where n equals 2. We're going to skip the n equals 1 because, well, it's hard to do n equals 1, as you'll see. Whoops, I hit the wrong button. And do that. Okay? Now this, ooh, actually I hit pretty good. This is right now is where you see n equals 2. You have two nodes. One here, and you can't see, you might not be able to see this on the video, okay. but this is vibrating up and down about a centimeter, and then it's doing the same thing over here. And right in the middle of the string, you see this spot right here is motionless. Okay? And we see that this is happening right here, and it's about 43 hertz. Ouch. Okay. That was my joke. <laughs> Thief. All right. So, how do we do this? Now, there's three columns we have to fill out, FA, FB, and FC. So what we do is we, we, we turn down the frequency, this is at 43, we turn it down to about 33, and the thing goes away. All right? So we know it's going to happen around 43, so we go to about 10 down there, so it's about 33. And then what we do is we slowly increase it until those two nodes form like we just saw. So Dimple, why don't you come on over here and tell us when you see, when you see the things form. You've got to get down low so you can see it. What am I supposed to see? You're supposed to, this is what, that's exactly why I had to come over here. <laughs> Okay? Now this is about where it happens. See? Yeah, I see it. Right. You, you have just the one in the middle. Ow, that hurt. Yeah. And then you have to be careful here to make sure that this isn't, the string isn't bent here. I'm not going to show it on here, on the video, but well, if the string is bent like that, you're going to mess up your data. All right? So now, actually that's not quite right here. There we go. 42.4. Okay, so you would write down now FA 42.4, but you'd write it for n equals 2 because we're doing n equals 2, not n equals 1. All right. So then what you do is you say, we said it again, it's going to happen around 43. So now we go up to 53, and now we're going to slowly decrease it until it forms. Tell us when it forms, Dimple. It's not yet. Yeah, it's right about there. Right, yeah. Can you keep moving it? Okay, that's good. Okay, this is 47.1. So our FB is 47.1. 47.1. Now, somewhere between FA and FB, we're going to see the, the string get the maximum amplitude. All right, so it's going to be below. And what usually happens is it goes out of control and makes circular motion like that. So this is the maximum amplitude right about there. It goes, it goes, it goes out of control. Yes. So that's 44.7. So we type in 44.7 for FC. So remember, for FA, we start low and we increase until the pattern forms. For FB, we start high and decrease until the pattern forms. And for FC, we look for the maximum amplitude of the string. All right. Then we take the average of those and that's FN. It's that easy. Now you do the same thing for n equals 3. Well, when n equals 3, you'll see two spots that stop. All right? 
And I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to be right around 66 for this setup. And here it is. Look at that. See that you've got one node right there and one node right there. I thought we were looking for three. We have three on-time nodes. The nodes are the motionless spots. I'm talking the n equals three means these uh, lobes here. Is that what they call lobe? I can't remember. Um, whatever. This hat must have taken my brain away. <laughs> All right. So we have, but well, we have only two nodes. Okay. Now what I want you to do is I want you to do n equals two, three, four, five, six, and then go back and do one. All right. And the reason for that is because it's actually hard to see the n equals 1 until you get some experience doing it. And I found that people get a lot better data if they do it in that order. Now, for the second part, it's really easy because there we're only going to find, we're only going to have it at n equals 2. But we're going to keep changing the mass off of the pulley. So that's going to change the frequency. All right? Now, what you do here, again, even though we're finding n equals 2 because it's easy, we're interested in n equals 1. What you're going to find is that the value for n equals 1 is half of the value for n equals 2. So what you do here in part 2 is you find fa, fb, fc. You take the average of that, and then you divide that by... Don't listen to that side of the room. <laughs> you divide it by... 2. two. That will give you your average value for n equals 1. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. You, does everybody understand that? All right. Do you understand that? Oh, that's right. This is a video you can't answer. No. <laughs> oh, <great. laughs> All right. So what should the uh, secret code word of the day be? Indiana Jones. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Indiana Jones is the secret code word. Where's my whip? <laughs> All right, so I'll see you in the physics lab.